Hi everyone, welcome to Auto Electronics. This is the ESP32 Ultra Wideband module from Maker Fabs. In fact, I got these three modules based on ESP32 Rubber chip and DW1000 UWB chip. In the last video, I explained this module in detail. In today's video, we'll make an indoor location positioning system using this module. For this, we'll use three modules. Out of these three modules, two of them will act as a device anchor and the third one will act as a device tag. Both of the anchors are stationary and placed at a fixed distance. The tag is the movable part of this project. When the tag is moving, the real-time position of the UWB tag can be graphically displayed on the PC using the Python program. The visualization part is based on UDP protocol. This means when the data is transferred to your PC using the local IP address and position is displaced based on the plane orientation algorithm. There is a lot to know and a lot to discuss about this project. So let's begin. Do you want professional PCB like this one that looks so good? Then use the services of Next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder color marks that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the thickness, and the PCB could be from 2 to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good, and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com, then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cardboard file and order now and receive the PCB in couple of days. Welcome back again. This is the ESP32 UWB module from Maker Fabs. The board acts as a continuously scanning data that precisely locks onto another device called Anchor and communicates with it, thus calculating its own location. For practical purpose, I'll use three modules in this project. You may use 4 or 5 modules depending upon your application. The top side of the board has ESP32 robot module embedded with BU01 module with other passive electronics component. There are two push buttons, one for flash and the other for reset. The board has a micro USB port for uploading the firmware and serial communication. On the back side of the board, there is CP2102 chip for UART communication. The name of the input output ports is also assigned on the board. The board is breadboard friendly, hence you can place it on breadboard with other components during practical applications. In order to purchase this board, you need to visit makerfabs.com as they are the official developer of this board. The price of the board is almost $40 depending upon the chip you select. I recommend you to buy minimum of 3 chips for this project. This is how we calculate positions. Two anchors are placed at a fixed distance which will transmit the signal to the tag. The tag will measure the distance. The tag will transmit the information to your PC using a Wi-Fi network over a UDP protocol. Then we'll implement sine law and cosine law as an indoor location algorithm in a Python program. Thus, the Python program will generate graphical data using the turtle function. A detailed article on plane orientation algorithm and how sine and cosine law is implemented in a Python code can be read on How to Electronics website article. Let's move to the coding part. We'll need four codes for this project. The anchor code 1 and the anchor code 2 is the same code. We'll need a tag code as well. Then a Python code for data visualization. Let us first see the pair of anchor codes. In this code, a library for DW1000 is used. So, first we need to install the DW1000 library. Go to this GitHub repository and you will be able to see a library written by Thotro. Detailed information in this library can be found here. But for now, all you need is to download this library. After downloading, go back to the Arduino ID. Then add this library using the 8zip library function. 
I have already added this library. The code will not compile now as we need to do some modification in the library. For that, look for the DW1000 library in the library folder. Then open the source folder. Here, you need to edit one file name dw1000.cpp. Open this file using notepad++. Then go to the line number 172. You need to comment the line 172, 173 and 174. Then save the file. That's it. Now go back to the Arduino code. For uploading the code, connect to ESP32 UWB modules to the two different USB port. Then select the right board and also the right COM code. Then upload both these codes. Remember one thing. Everything in this code is the same except the anchor address. You need to change the anchor address as both the device should have different anchor address. Once the code is uploaded, open the serial monitor and press the reset button. The device address will appear on both these modules. Hence, both these anchor parts are done now. Now, open the tag code. The tag code is little long compared to the anchor code. The tag code has two tabs as well. In this code, we need to modify these three lines. The first one is Wi-Fi SSID and the second one is Wi-Fi password. You can enter your local Wi-Fi credentials. We need to change the IP address now. For that, we'll use the IP address of the PC. To find out your PC IP address, open your command prompt. Then type IP config and then hit enter. So here is the IPv4 address. Copy this address and put it in your code. Connect the third board to your PC. Go to tools and select the board and the COM board. Then upload the code. Open serial monitor after the code is uploaded. Then press the reset button on the module. The device will connect to the Wi-Fi network and will start displaying the anchor numbers. The ESP32 tag will calculate the distance from both anchors. The octet string will be in JSON format. Hence, the complete system is working fine. Now, what is left is the visualization part. For this, open this Python script using any Python editor like Tony IDE. This is a simple demo to calculate the position of a tag and graphically display it. We use turtle to draw. Now run this script. After running the script, press the reset button on tag module. Immediately, a pop-up window will appear showing the graphics. For the demo, I kept three modules at different distances. This one is the tag. This one is an anchor. And also the third one is the anchor as well. As we know, a tag is a movable object. So let's move it away from both the anchors. As seen here in the visualization screen, there is a change in distance when the tag is moved in different directions. The visual graphics are also showing the distance and position of the coordinates. This is how the entire system works. You can check it repeatedly by moving in different different directions. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and a written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.